Hi, welcome to King's. My name's Tom. I am a second year languages student and today I'll be giving you a tour of King's College. And so you can just see through here at least, that's the main dining hall. So that's open lunch and dinner every day. Quite, quite fancy, I'd say. It's, obviously every, every college has one. And I think King's, King's does it quite well. Good prices every day, sort of changing meals every two weeks. And everyone sort of uses it. People obviously have kitchen access to in their student accommodation, student accommodation as well, but a lot of people generally, especially in exam season, just go, go there and that's, that works for them really well. Is it pay as you go or is it you yeah. pay at the end of the week or monthly? It's or? end of term, so obviously every eight, eight week term and you just scan, I'll show you. You have your, your card which obviously gets you into the gates, gets you into your rooms, pay for your food, for your library, it all goes on this one card sort of thing. So obviously this is front court and we've got obviously the chapel building there which normally looks a whole lot nicer when it's not covered in scaffolding like it is now. And that is the porter's lodge there. So obviously porters are stationed there 24 seven. They're the ones who help you say if you've not, if something you locked out your room or you've got a parcel to collect or just something generally that you've got any sort of query or concern, you can go to the porters. And also on that side of the building as well, that's where all the pigeonhole are. So that's where all your mail goes to. Um, and that's also Gibbs building there as well. So that's mostly fellows, um, offices and stuff. So some people have supervision in there, which is obviously the main sort of Cambridge teaching. So most of um, first year will live on site mainly, but you'll have accommodation for all three, four years, whatever your degree is, provided by the college. So you, there might be, so there's not a lot of the buildings, say on garden site, which is just over the bridge and across the road. There's two big hostels there and also on King's Parade to the road just over behind where you probably walked in. Those um, buildings opposite, they're all sort of owned by King's as well, so above the shops. This, this building here is, again, first year accommodation. So we'll go inside there and I'll show you one of the rooms in there as well. And they're the, on, they're the ensuite rooms as well, so they're a bit more, a bit more modern. We've only a couple of years back. So no, no oven, sadly, in this building as well, because it's sort of fire safety, but you've got two hobs, two sinks, and it's a chair between around, I think, 14, 15 people will use this, but obviously. It's pretty big. Everyone can fit in here and more. So it's a really nice social space as well. And King's has what they call the King's Bunker. So it's a downstairs, a big dark sort of bunker style club room sort of thing. End of every term, it's a big costume party. They have DJs in from outside. So you have sort of that proper, almost fun aspect you wouldn't expect from a Cambridge college. Yeah, so this is Bodley's Court. Um, all of this, again, is student accommodation. It changes between years, whether it's first years or second and third years who live here. And a lot of these rooms as well are sets. So you have sort of two rooms, one sort of living room space and a bedroom space as well sort of thing, which is that sounds quite nice. It's not, all of these are well shared bathrooms. So some of them are like, like for these for example, I've got like a basement there with fully refurbished toilets and all the rest of the staircases. They have their own little bathroom and showers in the downstairs as well, obviously very old. And I think Alan Sherman as well lived in one of those rooms up there, so that was his, his room as well. And those are King's punts, so you can rent those out for like one pound, no, four pounds an hour. So you can get to go take them up down the river, get all your punting equipment, and so it's much cheaper than the actual tours. And so this is Webb's Court. All along this top bit here, that's the library, and so that's open 24 seven, I think, these days. Sort of just for King's student use. Quite, not, not the biggest library in the world, but nice, practical, as most books you'd need say for this general first year stuff as well where you may have to go to like the actual faculty libraries later on. This building along here is Webb's. It's um, a mixture of student accommodation and fellows offices. Band two or band three room, shared kitchen, shared bathroom. Compared to Keen's, a lot cheaper. You're sharing. You'll, we'll see the kitchen as we go around there as well, but you have got wardrobe, desks, every room has a desk, every room has lamps, desk chair, um, comfy chairs a lot so you never obviously the fridge as well so whether you've got a fridge or you're sharing it in the kitchen everyone has access to that do you notice look at these rules have all the little ridges so you can get a picture hook as well and put things up as well because and the porter's lodge will provide picture hooks as well so you can, make, you can make it your space really easily and people do like these rooms obviously look so bare right now because people have been moved out but i don't I think my friends were living in here and they really they really enjoyed living here Anyone have any more questions, if you about subjects, I did languages, if that's any help to anybody, but otherwise there should be some people around that I can try and point towards for any of the questions and yeah, have a great rest of your day and hopefully you enjoy Kings enough to maybe want to come back. Excellent. Thank you, Tom. Thank you. Thank you. It's all right.